right, so we got this 3126. Got a little skip to it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm getting it warmed up. I'm gonna put it on ET. Get a little uh, injection cut out, check for any codes. So, here yeah, it's just a slight little skip, but you get a little more when it revs up. So, let me get it hooked up. Okay, so we got just one code, secondary fuel level voltage high, which shouldn't have anything to do with this. So I'm not getting any injector codes, so we're going to do a cylinder cutout. But yeah, if idle, it's, you can kind of hear it, but if I rev it up, hear that? usually test it is that I rev it up so I hear that like no whistle skip then I cut out that one okay cylinder two yeah what is is it if you want to the cylinder should make it like get worse when you cut one out you're kind of looking for the one oh, sorry the shaking you're looking for the one that doesn't do nothing when you cut it out you know that's most likely your problem is for oh, that's right. five that doesn't do anything I cut it out see it's cut out it's not changing any idle sound or anything it's so watch, I'll do number six. Hear it? Hopefully you can hear it, but it's really making a difference. Go back to number five. I'm cutting it out, it's doing nothing. It's doing, well, it's doing the same thing it did when it was powered. So number four. Five, one more time. Yeah, it's doing nothing. So that's where I'm guessing. So I'm gonna rip it out. These ones kinda suck because they're set back. I gotta take out the doghouse and everything. It's not like some of the like other trucks, like I work on some Sterlings. It's literally like the engine's right there. You pop the valve cover, you're good. So I'll bring it back once I have the valve cover off. So you take um, both valve covers off. There's a top one and a bottom one. And you take the top one and the bottom one, but you gotta unplug the harness and unplug these little injector wires, each of them. All they do is pop back and you pop, push them down. There you go, here's a new one. I'll show you, you just go right up in that, and you push it up and clip. Pretty easy. You pull it out and you get to you're gonna pop the injector out and then the cylinder is gonna fill up with oil and fuel. So we have to siphon it out with like one of those little mighty vac things. I usually just put like a quarter inch brake line tube down it, suck it out. But what you do is you take adjustable crowbar, you know, crow foot, and then you pop it up. Sometimes you have trouble, sometimes you don't. But this one wasn't too bad. So you just pop it out. Uh, and you pop the new one in. Or, you wiggle it all up, pop it in, but it's super hard to see. But you want to make sure you take a little, a little mirror, check in there, make sure everything's good. Don't forget to change the copper compression washer right here. So, also, another thing valve cover bolts, all of them have little washers. 
So you pull it off, make sure you take the washer with it. A lot of times they stick to it and then you pull the valve cover off, one can fall in there. So I'm gonna siphon it out. I'll take the new one, you kind of pop it down, torque it. I'll put the torque settings on the uh, end of the video. I think it's like nine foot pounds and the valve cover is like two or something. But, um, but yeah, so usually now I let it drain in the cylinder. Hopefully the piston's up higher. Won't take as much and I just take my little mighty vac, dab the little quarter inch, quarter eighth inch hose down into it, suck it all out, pop the new one in, torque it down. So not too bad. We're just doing one now. You do not hardest part, especially on these, is just getting get into the valve cover on these top kicks Kodiaks but not a super hard thing you just want to make sure you suck all the oil and fuel out all right I'll get back to you all right so I had a little brain fart I've got these I'm thinking of international injectors these injectors don't have the copper washer at the bottom the compression so but yeah they just you know put a, the tube down until it goes into the hole, bottoms out. And I use this little suction. And you see, you know, it tucks it out. You want to also, uh, you know, spray in there, clean it out with a little rag, kind of get it nice and clean. And then the new one, oil it up, pop it in there, and torque it down. So I'm gonna start her up. Let me get some air in the system, I'm sure. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later.